uh, the outer surface of bone is covered by the periosteum. The gray material that you see over here uh, represents the periosteum. If you look at the edge of the periosteum, you can see that there appears to be two layers of periosteum. There's an outer layer, and if you look on the outside surface, inscriptions depict the fact that this is the fibrous layer. So this outermost layer is your tough fibrous layer to which muscles and ligaments would attach. Then inside this fibrous layer, you have a more cellular layer. And so this inner layer would correspond to what is referred to as the osteogenic layer. There are cells within the osteogenic layer which are going to be responsible for forming bone. Now in this model, this edge of the periosteum is being torn away from the bone, which is right over here. And you can see that there are fibers which extend from periosteum that are anchoring in the actual substance of the bone, the hard bone. And these fibers are referred to as Sharpie's fibers. They're also called perforating fibers. And this is what keeps the periosteum closely and firmly attached to the underlying bone. Another thing to note in this view is this blood vessel, which you can see perforating through the periosteum and also perforating through the substance of the bone, the hard bony material itself. This artery, which is supplying oxygen and nutrients to the living bone, is called the perforating artery. And again, you can see that the periosteum consists of two layers. You have this outer fibrous layer and an inner cellular or osteogenic layer. And again, you can see that there is an attempt to show how these perforating or Sharpie's fibers help to anchor the periosteum onto the surface of the bone because it is being pulled away right over here.